He's a talk show host, a former pastor, and he's pushing for the conservative vote in his first run at political office. Jody Heiss thinks his campaign message resonates with voters in the 10th district. But we do like the position we're in at this point and very hopeful of positive results come November 4th. Heiss's opponent, Ken Dias, is also a political newcomer. He understands his opponent's confidence. I think because the way that the newspaper played it up at the very beginning, they think that this is a foregone win for the Republican Party in this district. Dias and Heist differ on many issues from the Affordable Health Care Act to Sunday voting. Heist gathered national media attention this past summer when he was accused of saying Muslims should not be accorded First Amendment rights in his book. He says his remarks were taken out of context. Absolutely, peace-loving Muslims have every right in the world to their belief and exercise those beliefs publicly with constitutional protection. Heist's opponent, Dias, says he and Heist could make their decisions clear in a debate, but that's something he thinks won't be accomplished. Because they think uh, that uh, my views and his views are so diabolically opposed that nothing to debate. Andrew James, Grady News Source.